The video shows examples of curve subdivision on manifolds with a metric. We restrict the discussion to Riemannian manifolds with geodesics of closed form expression. On these manifolds, subdivision is a fairly efficient and accurate process. The fundamental operation is to determine the geodesic that connects two given points, PQ, and extract the point at a certain parameter value along the curve. For the quadratic B-spline scheme, the parameter values are 1 quarter and 3 quarters of the distance between PQ. Cubic B-spline subdivision consists of 1. Mid-edge insertion and 2. Vertex repositioning. For letter process, the letter process requires the computation of three geodesics in the fashion indicated here. For the four-point scheme, please refer to the recent paper by Din and Sharon. Curve subdivision was initially conceived for polygons in the Euclidean plane, where a geodesic is parameterized by the affine linear combination of two points. Let's move on to a non-trivial example. Here are illustrations for curve subdivision on the sphere. The formula for the geodesic that connects PQ involves trigonometric functions. Geodesics in the hyperbolic plane are semicircles and vertical lines. Especially the curves generated by the four-point scheme closely trace these arcs, which can be seen in the illustration in the bottom row. The computation of the geodesic that connects two given points is not as straightforward. The implementation solves for the five parameters in the analytic nonlinear formula. Our final example shows subdivision curves in SO3. Every point represents an orientation in 3D. The curves are traced to produce the animations. The numeric formula for the geodesics is particularly simple. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for watching.